Yo, what's up, YouTube? Alright, today we're going to be changing out that clutch master cylinder on 1991 Toyota picked up 4x4 with a 22RE. That's right, the 22RE. And it's got 182,000 miles on the baby now. That's right. I have put on yeah, about 20,000 miles since I've gotten it. Yeah, about 20,000, so, so, oh wait, no, no, more like about 30, yeah, 30,000, that's right. Alright, so I put it on about 30,000 in uh, about three years since I've had it. April Fool's Day is the day that I got it, so, that's right. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, now we're up at the master cylinder. This is going to be my setup right here. I got the THL F72 with a locking extension and a magnetic universal and a finger spinner. I'm going to be using a mid length gear wrench socket, size 12. That's right. Alright, so we'll just get into it. Make sure your ratchet's on off. Get in there. Pretty tight up in here. That's why I like this finger spinner. See that? That's why I like that finger spinner. Just bop, bop, bop. Just get it off, get it off. that and then I'm gonna get the other one loosened. Let's see. One second. Alright guys, I'm ready to get the bottom one. Wait to get a load of what I put on to get this thing off. Let's see if we can get it mounted back on there. Got her free, guys. Got her free. Free, free, free. I love them universal joints. All right. Check this out, you guys. Three eighths locking extension. Three eighths locking extension. Ba bam. That's that adapter. Another locking extension to universal. Alright, so there's the clutch master cylinder. I'm right underneath the steering wheel. And that pin, right up to your right hand side. About three quarters of the way through the screen, or two thirds of the way through the screen. That's going to be the pin you pull. There's a cotter pin that goes through the pin. So get that baby out, and then get the two bolts from the inside. And she should come right out, of course, after you get the, the line. We'll get that right now. All right, we'll check on it. And then I'm just gonna take these two nuts off by hand. So, ba bam So, next up is gonna be this flare line. So I'll be right back with a wrench to get that. So, BRB boys. All right, so we're back. You're gonna need 10 millimeter, actually this is, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna need the 10 millimeter side. And this is a, uh, a right flare wrench. It's an offset one, an awesome wrench. Main USA, not as good as they come. So I'm just gonna get this bolt off. Wait, 10, 10. I love it, I love the six point wrench. <laughs> gotta be kidding me. Right, let's see if I can finger this. Almost, yeah, here. Yeah. Almost. Closer. Bites on good. This is stupid. What am I doing wrong, you guys? Let's see if I can get this off. 
this. All right, guys, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna change wrenches. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm gonna have to come back to this later. It's starting to pour down rain up in the 503. All right, deuces. All right, while well, I was getting the other wrench, I pulled this, and there's also going to be a spring that I just pulled off of that and just tucked it right next to a thing so I didn't lose it. So, for that, the wrench that I got for that is one moment. All right, we're back. We're going to get that flare nut off now. And I got a ratcheting open end wrench, so we'll try this thing out. It's pretty neat how it works. A lot easier. All right, we'll get this off and we'll be back. All right, so I finally got it loose, so I'm gonna pull that flare back, and then we'll just pull out that master cylinder. Should I just pull right it out? I'm gonna go check out what's going on underneath. Alright, I pulled the classic Doug. I did the thing for the for the brake booster, not the not the other thing. So I gotta pull the right pin, yo. We'll get back we'll get we'll get to it and I'll I'll be back with you guys. Alright, so I got the pin off now to the brakes and check this out. This is so nice about these pliers. Just gripped it just like that. So we're gonna pull this bad boy out and hopefully get the new one in before the next rain comes. Should just come straight out. Alright, I'm gonna go get a pry bar, guys. Took a little work, but I got her pop right out. Well, not really right out. I did have to get the old SK breaker bar and get her out because it's really tight getting in there. So, we'll get the new one on. We'll probably be good to go. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, now we're ready to install the master cylinder into the truck. So we'll just remove it from the vise and we'll take it out and put it in. So, we'll be right back. Alright, I don't know how I got my hand in there, but I got it down in there. And heck yeah, I got it in there. <laughs> so I'm going to get as tight as I can. with the ratchet. Alright guys, I'm going to get these all tightened up and then we'll see how she is. 
Took a little work, but I got her pop right out. Well, not really right out. I did have to get the old SK breaker bar and get her out because it's really tight getting in there. So, we'll get the new one on. We'll probably be good to go. All right, stay tuned. All right, so now I'm just gonna get these bolts tightened and then I'm good to go. Alright, so I got the universal down there with a one and a half inch extension. I'm just gonna get it back on there. So I'll just do that and I'll see you guys when everything's all done and ready to go. Alright guys. Alright. Gotta wait for my crossing. ago they started ripping everything up and then last summer is when the houses started going up alright I'm trying to go piss people off today Doing fat chick. You doing drugs up here? Got some big old hooters. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'd like to thank Jim from JRC54 for making this happen. All because of you, we are rolling early. Appreciate it, brother. Deuces.